Hey YouTube, welcome back to Pies Auto. We've got a quick one here. Um, basically, I've got a 2008 Toyota Highlander with a 3.5 liter, I believe. Um, 152,000 came in. Check engine light was on. Uh, as uh, the vehicle stability control light was on, um, which I know already know what's wrong with this one, but. <clears throat> Uh, you can see that these are the codes we were getting. We were getting the P0051 air fuel ratio sensor, heater control circuit low, bank 2 sensor 1, uh, a 158 for the downstream O2, and a 2197 for stuck lean, uh, that upstream stuck lean. Now, um, what I did, and this is a pretty easy check, guys. Um, bank 2 luckily is on the front side on these so <clears throat> let me grab a light okay so right now I'm pinned in um, I've got my front probes or my uh, whatever you want to call it my probes into the oxygen sensor which is um, right there and if you look on there the two colors that are the same are your heater control for that air fuel ratio sensor that is bank two sensor one um, air fuel ratio sensor and it's a quick check guys to see if your heater circuit is open Just literally put your own meter on and you can see that I have a completely open heater circuit now no doubt about it this is a bad um, air fuel ratio sensor on bank two. Um, so what I wanna do now is check the control from the computer just to make sure that the heater does have a control. Now these are ground side switched. Um, so I've got a test light and I will show you. I've got a test light hooked to um, battery positive right now. And you can see that my test light is, is uh, working with that connection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest the um, test light on the control side which will switch to ground but on these Toyotas you have to uh, crank the vehicle to get the computer driver for the heater circuit to actually work so I'll go ahead and do that and show you that uh, give me one second to get set up alright guys so I had to get a front probe for this um, but you can see I'm tied into the control side of that heater uh, circuit on the harness side from the um, engine computer itself test light took the battery positive. So if you go ahead and watch I'm gonna go ahead and crank it And you can see that control is there So we know that our control side is good now. It's time to check the ground uh, power side just to make sure All right, so we have a good steady uh, test light we're hooked to battery negative and we are probed on the other side of the heater circuit for the power side. And you can see that we're getting a good power um, as well. So no doubt about it, um, this thing needs an air fuel ratio sensor. Um, it's got a open heater circuit. Uh, some other things with this car that are concerning is when I pulled this up just to take a peek. Um, and this is why I hate aftermarket crap. You can see that we have an injector here and this is the control wire uh, let me grab a light so you can see that somebody has soldered in to the control wire for a aftermarket auto start now that solder is not protected at all not to mention we have a rat's nest under here and the rats have chewed into that control wire right down by the connector so there's that that needs to be fixed um, this is just another reason why I hate aftermarket garbage because this is what you get guys right here so nevertheless uh, we're gonna put an air fuel ratio sensor in this clean this crap out of here and I'll have to fix that um, because obviously somebody <sighs> tied into the control side of this uh, injector and luckily you know it didn't um, touch ground or anything but you know it's just this is just ridiculous so something simple and now I have to uh, fix this um, 
because somebody can't do work properly. Well, nevertheless, um, we're going to get this thing fixed up and uh, we'll be good to go. So, just a quick video, guys, on how to check a air fuel ratio sensor. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the other thing to look at is you can see that we had a, um, oh, where is it? That P015802 sensor circuit high voltage on the downstream O2. Now, I've already checked this thing for exhaust leaks, but um, obviously it's going to be stuck high. Um, you know, reading a rich condition because this one stuck low, reading a lean condition. So, um, we're gonna put an old uh, air fuel ratio sensor in, clear the codes. I have them at, and then we'll monitor all the O2 sensors, um, just to see how they're doing. I'm not worried about this downstream O2, guys. Um, I can, I probably will check it just to be, just to be sure, but, um, I have a feeling on these Toyotas, and I could be wrong, they disable. They disable the system, which I know they do here because you can see in the ABS it stored an engine control system fault for a Charlie 1201, and that's related to um, the engine DTCs because the engine went into a fail safe mode uh, once it set these codes, and that is the reason why the VSC light came on. So, we're going to put an upstream our air fuel ratio sensor in it on Bing 2 because we know that's that's faulty. I'm going to check. The downstream O2, I have a feeling it'll be just fine. And uh, then we will start it, see how these things react, and uh, I think we'll be good to go. So if I need to, I'll make a follow-up video on this one, but I don't, I don't see the need. It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.